kinetic typography it's a pretty cool effect and I will show you how it's done hello and welcome once again so kinetic typography uh, what the hell is it? Uh, well, it's basically text-to-speech. So whatever you say, it appears as text on your screen. It was kind of cool a few years back. A lot of people used it on commercials and whatnot, and it's not so popular these days. But there was recently a user, a user contacted me, the Bronst, and he asked me, can it be done in Corel Video? And I said, yeah, it's mainly done in After Effects, but it most certainly can be done in Corel Video and I'll show you how to do it very quick and simple so first thing you need to do is obviously is record your voice so let's go into our record option and we take our voice over alright so very simple you press start and when you finish you press the uh, space bar so let's do something simple the cat sat on the mat alright so we've got basically a few little words the cat sat on the mat so uh, we have to basically now, did I just say basically twice? Well, whatever. Uh, we now need to do is type out each word. So let's do that. Dot. New word. Cat. New word. Sat. Now, um, you know what? I'm not going to do all of them, uh, even though it's a couple more words. I'm just going to work with the first two because... Uh, uh, I just want to show you how this is done. Okay, so first thing we need to do is move it from the title track into your overlay track. And I'll show you why that is. Uh, I'm going to zoom right in on this. If I now go into my sound mixer, these will disappear. Where did it go? All right, so they're nowhere to be seen now. All right? So there's, a, there's the WAV file, but I can't see the title track. So I need to move them up into my overlay track. So just do this. All I did was just uh, highlight each clip, hold down my shift key, and then that grouped them and then brought them up. So if I now go in here, voila, there they are. So that is uh, very, very important. Otherwise, you're going to be guessing where the hell everything is, and that's not, a, that's not really good. All right. Now, uh, second thing what I do is because I, I have three monitors, I just moved this onto another monitor, but for, you, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to do this for now uh, because I want to increase this. And I'll show you why I want to do that. Because if I go back into my sound mixer, I can see the WAV file of where the speech is and stops and starts and stops and starts. So it's very, very easy for me just to line up the, uh, the text. Okay, I'm still grouped, that's why. And then I can resize it. Now, the duration of the word the is up to you. Just because you say it and you finish and then you go on to the next letter, it doesn't mean that it needs to disappear. So if I now press play, you'll hear me say the and then the word will pop up at the same time. The cat said. All right, so it's fairly fast, right? So I'm just going to bring this one out a bit and I'm going to bring this one onto the other overlay track because it's going to say the word cat. Let's do that one more time. The cat sat on the mat. So it's pretty good timing. The and cat came on exact same time I spoke. The cat sat on the mat. All right, and then I'm just going to resize this slightly. Uh, one more time. The cat sat on the mat. All right, so by the time it said sat, obviously that word will appear as well. Okay, I'm just going to go back into the uh, default uh, display. Uh, do, 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 it's not going into uh, F7 for some reason. All right, now, once you have these, you can then add effects to it any way you want. You can use all your, your, all your filter effects, or you can even go into uh, your text attributes. It's up to you. You can resize it, replace it, wherever you want. So um, let's go to the project that I was working on when the intro, right? No, I don't want that. Uh, let's go here. All right, so this is what you saw in the beginning. Kinetic typography. It's a pretty cool effect, and I will show. So 
Realistically, if, uh, if I look at the word kinetic, uh, I can see what it is that I've done. So I use the animation, I apply the zoom effect. So that is what I did with this one. Uh, what about the word done? Did I apply any filters? No. All I did was enlarge it. So you can see how I went about doing this. I simply created the words, lined them up with my speech, and then added different effects to each, uh, to each filter. Now this background clip can be anything you want. I'm just using a basic color, but you can even have a video in the background. It is totally up to you. So I hope uh, you understand what kinetic typography is. And as you can see, it's done fairly easy. It just requires a little bit of patience. And as always, thanks for watching.